welcome back to the channel. It is Friday night and it's 11.05 p.m. I'm drinking my favorite wine, which is Dashwood Sauvignon Blanc. And I've had quite a hell of a day, a hell of a week. Nobody knows me on YouTube. Nobody cares what I'm doing. So um, I don't vlog that often, but I thought I would vlog this weekend. I was too busy to vlog on like earlier today, but today was jam packed. So I went to the doctor. I've been suffering from <coughs> cough like that. And it turns out I have something called, I forget what it's called. I don't know. I've been drinking wine. Let me put my wine down. So I have something that just makes me want to cough because my body is trying to fend off illness, but I'm not sick. I have no infections. I'm perfectly fine. And my car had a recall and I had to get the airbags replaced. So I did that. And tomorrow is Galentine's Day. If you guys remember last year's Galentine's Day, my friends and I went to the Four Seasons here in Houston and spent the day at the spa. And we're doing the same thing this year. I'm so excited. I think I mentioned in a prior video that I've been doing personal styling on the side. It's been so rewarding and just... Oh, it gets my creative juices going. Um, and it's also a great way to um, support my budget for this year. And I've already had three um, style, personal styling um, gigs. And this is my fourth one. And um, I'm styling someone for the Houston Rodeo. So I'm really excited about that. And so I'll show you some of the pieces that I got her. But I need to take my pieces that I showed you last week off this rack and put them on my personal rack because I bought this rack that you can see here. I bought this for my styling clients. And I'm like taking over it. And I had, I'm also trying to shop for myself because I'm going, I'm going on vacation. I'm going on a seven day cruise um, to the Western Caribbean. It leaves out of Florida. I'm really excited about that because this is, I feel like my last go at enjoying a cruise. I've gone on a cruise twice before. I have not enjoyed either one of those. So this is my last ditch effort. So I'm gonna just show you some of the pieces that I got for my um, client tonight. I'm gonna try to get some stuff together, go to bed in an hour, but I don't have my braces in. I have not had them in for like, eight hours you guys and it's because i've just been like out and about and eating and snacking and now i'm drinking wine and i just feel like they were a nuisance so today is actually the last day it's friday it's the last day that i was supposed to wear those but i'm just gonna wear them again tomorrow as much as possible at Valentine's day and then i'll change into my new set on sunday and that is so breaking the rules. And if my doctor, my dentist is watching this, you didn't hear none of that.
favorite pieces that I picked up for my client today. I love this denim tie-dye shirt. Oh my gosh, I think it's so versatile. So of course she could do denim on denim. She could tuck it in. She, But I envision her tying this around the waist for like a nighttime look. I just really love this top. So let me tell you the biggest problem I have with becoming a personal stylist. The biggest, biggest problem that I have is that I shop for myself when I'm supposed to be shopping for others. And normally I would wait a month to show you guys what I added to my wardrobe, but I'm gonna show you this one piece that I got from Nordstrom Rack for $5.99. It is a sweater dress and it's navy with different colors on top of it. So it's looking a bit darker in the camera, which I'm not liking, but it's not this dark. It's actually just navy. Yeah, kind of like that. Five dollars. I'm gonna make it work. So I'm currently at about five hundred dollars for all the pieces that I chose for my client. So we're definitely going with inexpensive pieces. But I did find these boots at Nordstrom Rack, which I think are so great. Not just for the rodeo, but I know my neighbors downstairs are like, what brick did you just drop? These are a size 11. I sized up for her um, because they don't have half sizes past a size 10. These were only $69.97. And I, this is exactly what I envisioned for her rodeo boots. Although I did pick her a couple other options. I'm really hoping we can come up with a great look with these. A great day look could be with these wedges. I love the natural rope um, kind of espadrille feel for these. These are the Abound brand. Also came from Nordstrom Rack. So I thought we could do a really cute denim look with these as well. She specifically told me she wanted like a rodeo boot. So if she didn't like my snakeskin option, I did choose a more classic rodeo style boot. These are low brown and I loved the detail of the studs here. I think they would work really well with a dress so that we do not skimp on showing any of the details, but this leather looked so beautiful and I love the toe of these. So this is the last pair of shoes that I got for her as an option. And these are actually a tall boot, brown wide calf, Definitely a classic rodeo style boot. I like that they have the leather all around. As you guys know, I am not a fan of tall boots that have like just elastic in the back. I think it cheapens the look. So I like how they did the elastic beneath the leather. So in some looks that I pulled for her last month, I had a naturalizer shoe and she thought they were very, very comfortable. And so I went ahead and got them again. These are a size 10 and a half, which is her actual size. So I'm so glad that I got to pull all the shoes for her. All the shoe options are here. Um, I really love this skirt. So I got this skirt as well. It's a faux suede and I got it from Marshalls. I think the skirt was 20 bucks, but I absolutely love it. And I think... What I wanted her to do is pick rodeo pieces that she could restyle outside of the rodeo. I don't want it to look like a costume. So that's why I'm picking, picking more classic pieces because I feel like this client has an incomplete wardrobe. And so I'm really trying to... <coughs> I'm 
I'm really trying to fill some holes in her wardrobe <coughs> while styling her for the rodeo. So we could definitely do this denim top with this and some boots or wedges. I thought this went really well together because that tone on tone will elongate the body, make her look so fly. So I definitely have some more things I need to get, but it's nice to see what I already got. Oh yeah, I got these dresses from Target and I thought they were really cute. She loves pink. And so this kind of salmon-y pink, salmon colored pink, this shift dress, I think could be a real classic for her. And then especially if she puts this on top and kind of tie it up at the waist like this. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? <sighs> and then she could pair it with these, oh my gosh, cute, cute daytime look. Cute daytime look. Or she could either, if it's cold, rock it with these boots. Very versatile look. So again, and they can be worn outside of the rodeo, but just trying to bring a modern spin to the rodeo. I definitely need to get her a hat and some belts and a denim dress. And I want a vest with texture and volume. So that's what I will be looking for the rest of the weekend. But I'm glad that I actually now could see the pieces that I got for her. And oh, I also got her these shorts, which I thought were cute. I love boots and shorts. So don't get me started about the looks we're about to make with these. Um, I got her some black jeans. She has some black jeans, but these have a faux leather look to them, which I thought was really great for the rodeo. Um, and I got them to go with these boots. And I pulled her this graphic tee and I would love a vest to go on top of that. Um, so that's what I pulled for her, a look. <coughs> I'm going to bed. I will see you all tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Good morning, you guys. I am showing you my outfit. It's Saturday. I'm headed to the Four Seasons for Valentine's Day. As part of my treatment today, I'm going to get a Moroccan Argan Oil scalp massage for like 25 minutes. So I didn't really do much with the hair today, I just spritzed it and applied a light moisturizing lotion because they're gonna mess my hair up anyway. I don't matter. Yeah, I don't mind. So I am wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts. Au revoir. Got this from H and M, um, like at the end of 2017. If you saw my What's New in the Closet from January, you recognize this coat. And I am wearing it with the $898 tag. Because when people ask me where I got it from, I want to tell them that I paid $47. <laughs> for this coat. So wearing that, I'm also wearing some Levi's skinny jeans and they are low rise. This is one of my favorite pair of jeans. I always thought it made my butt look good, but they were too little you guys. And I fit into them today because all of my other jeans, all of my other jeans are just too big like my pants yesterday were falling off i've definitely gone down an entire size in pants <sighs> so i'm gonna have to start getting some of them taken in these clothes are not too little anymore 
Ow. I am loving this coat. I wore it yesterday as well. And then for my shoes, I'm just wearing Uggs. So I bought two pairs of sunglasses yesterday. I think I'm going to wear this pair today. Oh, it's a vibe. These are Stella McCartney's. I got them from Nordstrom Rack for $100, basically. Very, very nice. Mm. I also got these. I've never had any circle frames. And for some reason, they just fit my face and they fit really well. And these are Diane Von Furstenberg. And if you watched my designer handbag collection, you will see that at the end of that video, go back and watch. I know you probably clicked off early, but at the end of that video, I did go over some non-luxury brands that I think give you luxury quality and DBF was one of them. And that includes the sunglass category because no one is not... It, Cannot tell that these are not Mui Mui's or Fendi's, you know, or something like that. So I'm loving these, but I'm going to wear these today. So I'm going to go ahead and take the cake and rosé and Tito's vodka to the car and drive over to the spa and start setting up. Recording your first sip. Yes. Okay. That and that's how it begins with the head nod. 